up at Harbor Freight in Keene, New Hampshire to pick up a Zurich Pro. We are now walking back out the door with the brand new Zurich ZR Pro. Well, now that we've got the Zurich home, Zurich Pro from Harbor Freight. see what we got inside here. activation envelope with the serial number of the code inside to activate it. And inside the case, it's a pretty heavy duty case. We've got the Zorik Pro. Stand. charging cable. Lots of little packets of silica gel. USB cord for charging with. The Zurich VCI wireless dongle. Orange extension for where it doesn't fit. spare stylus. There's a stylus right here on the back. Got it up in Keene, New Hampshire last night. Got a nice little discount on it as well. Uh, 
why they make it in this envelope so tight. Maybe the grandchildren in the other room. Just boiling it. on for the first time. Okay, starting up the activation, hit login, enter in your username, which is 6 to 20 characters. Well, this is a house call auto repair, so I'll put in house call auto repair. And then you're going to enter in a password. new registration first. Put in house call auto repair again. And I'm going to scroll down, enter in a password. Now down here you have to use an at symbol and an underscore. So you're going to have to add that in with your 6 to 20 characters in English using numbers and letters. And you have to enter in your email address. to select and pick your country. In this case, the United States, we're going to be all the way down here at the bottom, or towards the bottom. STU United States. And then we're going to have to enter in our, our CAPTCHA. Don't hit the capture button because if you do, it'll kick you back. You have to enter in your numbers again. And then scroll down and click register. And now you're going to enter in your serial number, which is on your little envelope. serial number and activation code. And then click activate. VCI has been activated successfully. Congratulations, you have completed your registration. Do you want to download the diagnostic software now? Yes. And then you've got all your selections right in here. Select everything that you do want to install, keeping in mind that the more you install, the slower the machine will get. You also have a fixed amount of capacity in here. Uh, let's see, we're going to go through all of these and see what we got here. Firmware update, we definitely want. Auto search, we want. App application program, we want. 
uh, di diagnostic base service app we want DPU link manager services we want Austin Martin I'm not going to be working on any of those so unselect that Audis I'll be probably tinkering with Mercedes Benz I am not a huge fan of I'd rather not tinker with those so we're not going to waste our time with the 345 megabytes for that one uh, BMW sure why not Chrysler Citron I don't even know if there is such a thing in this country of course it probably is but either way <coughs> Daewoo demo just in case you want to fart around with stuff I suppose it's good to be in there uh, EOB D2 Fiat uh, maybe it's small it's 56 megabytes uh, Honda Hyundai something Jitsitsu something or other will unselect that uh, Kia Land Rover not on my life Maserati I probably would never be allowed to touch Mazda, Mitsubishi, Nissan, Opel, I've seen one in my life, but I'm not going to work on those, Peugeot, don't like them, Porsche, not on your life, Renault, they need to be blown up, uh, Rover, nope, it's too expensive to, for me to fiddle with, Saab, I don't really care for those, uh, Saic, MG, don't know what that is, we won't bother, Seat, that's foreign, we don't have those, SMG, uh, we have Chevrolet, Buick, Cadillac. I'm going to leave that there just in case. Skoda, I'm not familiar with. Smart, those are compact coffins on wheels. Um, Sprinter, nope. Uh, Young, something or other, nope. Subaru, of course. Suzuki, occasionally I see those. Toyota, USA, Ford, Volvo, BMW. Okay, we've got everything that we want in here. Now we're going to select update. And this is going to take a while. Um, 44 upgradable software. And that's one installed. That's two installed. So we'll be back in a little bit. Any little green progress bars. Show you how you're doing. Right now it's downloading the Audi, and I'm on a really, really slow DSL connection, so this is going to take a while. And I just realized that this one here is actually Japan Isuzu, so we're going to have to go back when this is all done and enter that one back in. Anything that you missed, you can go back in and add on later on. And Land Rover Jaguar, I might put that back in because you never know. There's a few of those floating around here. Well, after having given it a little bit of thought, I decided to come back through, hit pause, and basically I selected everything in here except for the stuff that I absolutely know I will never see. And these are ones that are already installed. So there's, there's really only a few in here that uh, I'm probably never going to see.
Do you want to install an update to this existing application? Your existing data will not be lost. The update application will get access to new or all. This update requires no new permissions. Click install. Blocked by Play Protect. It's Zurich. Install anyway. Google Play Protect. Allow. And done. And that's all of the updates completed. Since this is a uh, an Android system, I changed my email address to my Gmail address, and I had to enter in the confirmation code to be able to do so. And ironically, let me highlight it right here for you. Let's see if I can get this straight for you. I get an email from launch. Google Services. And it's got another. Well. Got another update. Security. Confirming that this is a Lenovo Tablet 8 or 4 8 inch and the IP address that it's logging in from. And now I can watch my one of my favorite guys. cable probably I'm assuming for when this doesn't want to fit underneath the dashboard and the Zurich Pro unit the charger the spare um, yeah 